Hi everyone. We got the tiger out here in the nice sunshine. This is Easter Sunday and it's kind of warm out. Bought myself an Easter present. I stayed away from the candy. We don't need that. And um, finally Ryobi come out with the brushless 21 degree frame and nailer. 18 volt. And um, finally I was able to get one. I've been waiting. I've got other nailers, you know, all the finished nailers and so on. But I brought out some samples. I got some nails I bought. Got a little bit of lumber. Got me an 18 volt battery. But let's do a little unboxing. So let's get this bad boy open. Um, I got a couple projects coming up where this would be handy. You know, when you're on a lift or on a ladder and uh, you don't feel like getting out the air compressor and hoses. You know, I got, I've had Stanley for years and uh, they are uh, 28 degree and they're metal collated. And this takes plastic. So, new for me. So, let's see here. Yeah, let's review it. Okay. Um, oh, it's got a belt clip on it, so that's good. Where would this mount at? I didn't bring any tools out. And it's Phillips. Where does that mount? You don't see it just yet. I don't know. Probably back here. So, check it out. Isn't that pretty? I'll have to learn them because they're all a little different. So it's got a release on it. And then we've got a depth of drive. I like that. And see, a lot of people are using the DeWalt's. And the thing that's annoying about the DeWalt's is after you fire, you got to listen to the motor, the fan in it. I don't want that. I just, that'd find me annoying. And these are supposed to be able to go choo -choo 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 just as fast as you want. And so, well, I'm going to have to put nails in it because we're not going to be able to fire it. Let me put my stuff back before the wind blows it away. And what we got here is I bought three inch ring shank. They're plastic collated. There's a thousand in a box. Home Depot. Um, grip right they're good nails and uh, they're exterior so they're galvanized so that'll be good for framing like putting two tuba fours together and here we go we got two and three eighths which is good for say one inch sheathing something like that and then I got the two inch which is basically plywood whatever and if we're gonna put two together I might better just put the threes in it Let's check this out. Here. And I don't know how many of you guys got one of these or if you're interested in Ryobi or not. I started the blue Ryobis way back. I've been with Ryobi and once you get one one platform, you might as well stay with it. And once they changed from the blue to the green, green yellow, same batteries work. So it doesn't matter. I stay with it. And it's economy. These are similar to Black and Decker, you name it. Well, these are, I like the package. The Stanley's come in a cardboard box that falls apart. I got some in a trailer that are falling apart. The uh, Stanley, Boss Stitch, they're touching each other. So you get more per the, you know, you can get more in the gun. So I will have to change this more often. But it's a full round head nail ring shank look like pretty good quality the thing i'm not going to like probably is the little pieces of plastic thrown around and i like that they load from the back without opening it you can only put one clip in that's probably going to be a little annoying but i'll put a few in my tool belt when i'm working we probably should read this sequential trip so you can change how you want to do this right now i'll leave the setting where it is and let's 
see what this says. Spanish. All right, I'll have to get Dawson out here and he can read the Spanish to me. Right here is where your clip goes. That screw. Let's see if she lights up. I think it's got a light on it. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. I was hoping it did. Um, so, I like that the safety works right away. Let's see if it'll drive a nail. Whoa. That's got some power. Check that out. Now what you want to be careful is you see this little bruising? That's going to allow water in if it's exterior. If it's interior framing, I probably wouldn't worry about it. So I want to change the depth control. I wonder what the direction is. Probably, let's see what happens here. That'll bring it down. Let's try one more. See, I went too far, so I went about three or four clicks. There's that plastic I said would be a little annoying. Maybe not. But that's not deep enough. One more. It's almost there. Now what we'll do, let's put two, two before us together. It's not quite enough. Once I get used to this, it'll probably stay there, and I might put a little paint mark on it for the average. I like that. That's a lot of power, guys. A little piece of plastic. So that's going to be plastic collated. And uh, I should have brought out some of the Stanley Boss Stitch. They're put together with a metal wire. They're called welded. The only problem with them is occasionally it'll cut your finger. Because the nail has a little tiny barb sticking off from it. So maybe I'll like these better. I'm just not much of a pluton kind of guy. I don't want the plastic laying around. But because these are ring shank, you're going to need a good pry bar to get these apart. And uh, they have smooth and it'll accept all kinds of nails. But uh, they have smooth shank. Problem with them is I could pry them apart pretty easy. I'm pretty happy already. I don't have anything to do yet as far as a, you know, a project, but I've been, I've been itching to get one, and every time I go in the store, they say they got one in stock, you get in there and it's gone, and it actually is a display. I was hoping it had a light on it, and it does not. Dawson just said, why don't we do the uh, speed drive and see what happens here, so I think what I'll do... I hate to waste them, but let's do like three or four nails. And, and I want to compare it to that DeWalt that I don't have with me. But when you put the nail in, you know, and then you got to listen to that fan wind up. And then you can do it again. So I don't know how many, you know, seconds it is between. But this one should have no delay. Yeah, you could probably go all day long. It says it'll shoot a whole mess of nails. Um, on one single charge battery and power to sink three and a half inch full round head nails instant driving no delay that's what the DeWalt was a delay no compressor gas nothing so I think you know if you can buy these on sale the nails which I try to use coupons and things this may save me money we shall see definitely gonna be a you know pretty fast to do the depth is pretty nice just barely broke the surface and if I was doing say a deck I used a galvanized ring just to put a couple boards together and before I put the joist hangers on I think that would be awesome and then uh, for sheathing that would I think it'd be great you know you got to do you know a lot of nailing with it I'm pretty happy already I'm not I don't have a project but my next project that I'll be doing a little framing you're going to see this in a video. It has a three-year warranty. I don't know how good that is, but I know I have taken a couple tools in, um, a drill and a small chainsaw. And the chainsaw, they actually gave us a new one. And um, the, I think they adjusted something on the drill, I think the chuck, and gave it back to me. But uh, I'm pretty happy. And, well, all these nail guns are, you know, 300 bucks and up. And 
that's kind of a lot to put on <laughs> put out for one but like I said I've already had the line of batteries when you get the batteries this is a this is a three amp but I have some four amps you can get two of them for a hundred dollars with a coupon and um, so for uh, for the money I think they're gonna be good I think I'm gonna like that you don't have a delay I like the depth control adjustments real fast the other thing is it's got this plastic non-marking surface that probably snaps off now I got to read the directions and then uh, I got no battery in it yet and then um, my Stanley Bostitch has just that metal tang and if I went down here like this and did the same thing my Stanley will shoot it just as fast as a compressor you know will keep up but it marks the surface up it'll leave all those marks all the way around that hole and they're supposed to be so that you catch and don't slide off but they it does bruise the wood up so and glancing on the box it'll say 750 nails per charge that's gonna be expensive um, the nails I think they start around $45 a box and like I said if you don't want galvanized you don't want ring shank you can get a cheaper nail but I like using these for framing because say I'm standing a wall up like we built Dawson's building over there I helped him a little um, when I helped him stand the walls after he framed they don't rack they don't fall apart the nails don't come out um, it has a selectable drive switch with single and sequential um, tool free depth adjustment onboard air fill valve I don't know what that is it decreased down I don't know what that is I'm gonna read on that integrated rafter hook that I've got to put on it that would be pretty cool so I can I can hook it when I'm up in the air and I won't be dropping it and then um, a shock absorber that manages the battery movement now if you notice when I snapped the battery in here I didn't say anything I didn't know if you noticed it that's what was moving that's cool because when I placed the battery in I didn't think I had it in all the way because that moves but that what did that say about it shock absorber manages the battery movement for optimal performance so I would have a feeling if you're uh, you know you bump against something when you're framing you could unsnap unhook your battery so it does have an indicator tells you you got power it's also got another switch down here that's at the lock I'm gonna read on this guy so I don't know if I did this uh, review if you want to call it a review a little bit beforehand sequential and contact activation mode so that is your your trip mode and then uh, it does turn red and says low battery I kind of like that so if I'm up in the air and it lights outside I'm not going to be in a location where I got a dead battery so and then to pop the nails out they just come back slide right out probably should pop the battery out when you're monkeying with that and then uh, the only thing I wish they would do is I wish everything would come with a case because the first thing you start damaging your goods here setting it down um, here it shows the shock absorber model number PBL 345 and uh, that's kind of cool look inside there shock absorber so I'm gonna read the directions any little hints prior to getting onto a project but uh, three-year warranty and I don't have to wait and listen to that fan um, I watched a couple other video on YouTube where they're using the DeWalt framer and I, I said to myself oh I couldn't stand that fan all day so I don't want to waste any more nails because I don't have a project going but what I do like about the nails is they come in this awesome package and they all stack so when I put them in the trailer I can face them toward me I can see what size they don't tip over the cardboard boxes fell apart and uh, I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and go ahead and put the rafter hook on there and uh, that's pretty good size nail there guys and the ring shanks good luck pulling them out so if you're interested in buying one home depot um if you want to wait to buy one let me do one of my first projects where I, i'm going to use it for a couple hours i got a 
I got a wood building, a wood storage building I want to build, and uh, I might be using this, probably. So I don't like to swing the hammer too much anymore. And uh, 